fire and fuego. <laughs>
fire and fuego. And then if you hold the uh, the blaze rod, it's like a lightning stick. That's freaking sick, dude. That's what I'm talking about right there when it comes to comes to cool stuff in the in the um, resource packs. Food too. They changed all the food to be like a little more detailed. Um, it makes sense. I mean, it's where they should be. And same with the uh, the what do you call it? the cat the the dyes are all in these little jars except for the uh, the ink sac, uh, bone meal, uh, and then a few other random little things that it, the spawn eggs look a little different. I mean, a little more realistic, I guess. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and switch this out uh, to another resource pack. Go to resource packs. Um, let's t let's take this one out. Let's go to this one right here. It's called smooth realistic. So most of the time people will modify most of the blocks and leave some of them pretty standard. So, whoa, the GUI looks freaking sick. Whoa. Oh, oh. Ugh. See, this is why we're doing this review. This is freaking horrible. I mean, you know what? I take that back. Some of it looks really freaking look at the, look at the, the ingots, dude. That's really freaking cool. Get out of F5. Okay. The sand is horrific. Why did they do this to the sand? They should have just left that well enough alone. The bushes look cool. They look more realistic. The cactus looks all right. I mean, they put the little pricklies on it. It should be a little more random, I think. Um, bones look like bones. Cool. Okay. Uh, the track looks pretty cool. The mine carts look pretty basic. Polar bear. Dude, you are ugly. And this is another huge problem I have with texture packs is when they change the animals to be like this. Look at these pigs. Are these not the ugliest pigs you've ever seen? Look at that pig. That is just... Get out of here, bro. You're, you're ugly, bro. But the torches are cool. The stone looks remarkable. I mean, the detail they put in there is really cool. The trap doors, really nice. And some of the stone looks really attractive. I see this is what I'm talking about, realistic stuff. I love this stuff. When you see the podzool, even looks kind of interesting. It's like yellowy color. But the sand is just what? I, I don't I don't really know. Um what is this? It looks like iron. But it's not iron. Oh, that's uh bedrock. Oh, that's freaking cool. This is uh, obsidian right here. So here's our uh, sandstones. The sandstones look really nice. The bookcases look really nice. Oh, look at the ore. See, I love this. I wish I could turn off the mobs because the wood is impressive. Look how detailed that is. I really like that, dudes. But what am I holding? Oh, I'm holding a, what do you call blaze rod, aren't I? And the blaze powder. But the animals are just, look at the checkerboards. That's freaking cool. I like that. Uh, that's a music player. It's a little record player up there. That is a furnace, I'm guessing. I'm guessing this is a... It's a the crafting table. It looks like a set of drawers. That's pretty cool. Cauldron looks like a cauldron. Uh, the, that's the... Or what do you call it, Stan? It looks more new, I guess. It's all bubbly on top instead of smoking. Same with the fire here, because they changed the fire on the smoke particles on one. I think they have to change it on all. Um, and these are, what is that? Oh, it's a dropper. The dropper and the dispenser look alike, except for one's red and one's not. Okay, well, I mean, I could see that, I guess. Uh, these lamps are okay. This TNT looks sick. Uh, the pistons are cool. That's got slime on it, so it's sticky. This is a note block, so it's just a bunch of speakers. And uh, did they change, like, all the animals? I wonder if they changed the parrots. No, they didn't change. The parrots look the same for the most part. But that's too new, I would think. Concrete still looks like... It still looks like concrete for the most part. Signs look cool. Look at that. That does look pretty sick. I mean, okay, so I like some aspects of this. The chest. I like some aspects of it. The GUI looks pretty interesting. Uh, but some of it I don't really care for. The sand can really go it's just not not okay they need to change that modify it something make it maybe make it just yellow or tone it down so much that you can't see the dark as much so it blends in a little better 
and the transition between side by side would look a little nicer because when the world generates it's not all just going in straight lines it drops things in every which angle so when you drop a piece of sand this way and you drop a piece of sand this way it's rotated but we can't tell in regular minecraft texture pack because it's all uniform but in this one they made it directional so you can tell when it goes different different ways and i i really don't like that anyway so let's go ahead and switch out of this one let's go to options let's go to resource packs let's drop you get, get out <laughs> I, I don't like that one um let's try smooth craft high sure D done load it load it all right so this one's more of a standard gui it says unpause this looks like very much so like the plastic texture pack in um console i mean some of the stuff is pretty unique like this the furnace looks really freaking cool i like that uh they added some detail to things though so things are a little more three-dimensional hey hey bear see i like it with the, the animals are fine the way they are um for things like this but i like the redstone redstone as a dot looks really cool as opposed to looking like blood maybe we sh should just have blood in minecraft that would be freaking cool uh buttons are they just standard buttons yeah they're just standard buttons and they do have a little little effect but yeah it does it looks a lot like the plastic texture pack it's got a little different uh, hey pig you fell in pig what happened the wood looks interesting though i don't know that i like the top of the this is a tree i think it's too simplistic but it still looks nice though i'm not gonna knock it okay and then this is iron and then the iron blocks look freaking sick. Yeah. Okay. What do the other these other blocks look like over here? Diamond looks cool. The diamond shines. Did you see that? It's like animated. All of it. The gold. The emerald. Yeah. That's freaking cool. This is basically the plastic texture pack, which I like. I like the plastic texture pack. So I'm not going to knock this one. There's a few things I would probably change um, if I were making a texture pack. I should probably make a texture pack. It's really... It's just time consuming. It's very time consuming, honestly. You go block by block and it takes it takes a long time. So freaking props to all of you dudes and dudettes out there that actually take the time to do this. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and swap out of this one. This is this one's okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it's bad. Let's go remove this and let's do this redcraft. Redcraft, there are different versions of redcraft. Uh, 64 times, 128 times, 256 times, and 512 times. I'm guessing that's the resolution, the pixels used in each block. So I did 128 times just as a good medium. That way I'm not using something super high end, even though I should probably use the 512. Back to game. Whoa. Okay. So this is supposed to be like realistic kind of looking. And it kind of does. Look at the stone. It's really cool looking. I mean, some of it you can see that they left alone, like like that. The the magma uh, block, they left that alone. The hay they left alone. The prismarine, all of it they left alone. Uh, the that they did too. So, but the the main ores, why did they make them this grittiness looking? I don't know. I didn't make the the the, the texture pack, so I can't complain too much, right? Uh, this one's okay iron looks just like iron it's just more textured it's got like a chiseled look on the outside um all of these look pretty nice the wood looks freaking sick i really like that i like that it continues on and the planks don't like chop up that looks freaking cool same with the uh the, the stone all the different stone the cracked the chiseled mm. the mossy it looks really good um all the granites that looks pretty legit the only thing i would probably do is put a more of a shine on the polished because it's supposed to be polished it looks exactly like this except it's chiseled so i mean it should look more polished i think that's just my opinion though it doesn't really matter my opinion doesn't count for crap uh podzul looks like dirt no no podzul's right here they didn't do anything to it dirt looks like oh the grass grew over the dirt <laughs> Okay, that looks like coarse dirt and sand. This is bedrock. This is, uh, yeah, obsidian. Uh, what do the doors look like? Uh, they didn't change the doors. They left the doors alone, except for the iron door. Iron door looks really good. 
Uh, this one they changed too. And the wool looks like wool. I like that. That looks really freaking cool. Grass looks a little nicer. Some of the flowers they changed and the vines they changed. The vines look too heavy to me. Like they look nice. Don't get me wrong. But they look really heavy. Uh, the grass looks cool. The, the fern looks good. So some of the flowers they went through the effort of changing. The lava looks pretty cool. It looks like it's got a glow to it, doesn't it? That's really pretty. Same with the water. It's got like this motion to it. That looks like it's moving really fast. Alright. What about animals they left alone, right? Concrete. They left concrete alone. Okay. And I don't think anybody's going to change these. The glazed terracotta, I think, would take way too long to modify the glazed terracotta. But I guess somebody eventually will because people do this stuff all the time. Anyway, so I think that's all of them. Let me see. Let's go back to our uh, our options. I believe that's all of them. That is all of them. And out of all of these, I think I kind of like the first one. Like, this one's okay. But I think I like equanimity out of all of them. Oh, look at the sun. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I think that this is probably my favorite resource pack. There's, I don't think there's anything in it I really don't like. Yeah, I mean, they did a good job. They did a great job with the uh, the wood looks. I mean, it still looks a little cartoony, which is it's just fine because it's Minecraft and it could look cartoony. Uh, but they did a good job with the top of the wood. The sand still flows all in one direction no matter what. I'll put a link in the description below to each and every single one of these uh, resource packs. If you guys like any of them, you're welcome to download them from the developers and you can see where I download them. Now, if you guys want to, uh, if you guys want to download mods, this is where I go. I go to curse for a lot of things. Um, Minecraft six, the website I go to is, is cool for a lot of my mods, but curse lately has been like, they've been, they're on the ball. Curse is owned by Twitch, by the way. But if you go to Curse and you simply type in texture packs, uh, Curse, I, I mean, if you can just type, if you type in Minecraft texture packs in your search bar in Google, about the third one down will be Curse. This is probably my favorite one for one reason, one reason alone. There are no, there's no traps. There's no thing for you to be forced to download or forced to download around. So this is what I did. I went over here and I clicked on all textures and i just basically switched it to, to snap to version snapshot 1.12 you can do it for whatever version you want i mean most texture packs most resource packs will work across the board um, i just wanted to make sure this one specifically worked for 1.12 because it's a snapshot i'm using so if you guys like this video maybe next time we'll uh, we'll do a 1.11 Point two. That way we'll have more options. If I click on that, there'll be more. Here, I'll, I'll go to that really quick. So, uh, in, Invictus, that, that's a good one. Let's go ahead and click it. Um, and then to download it, you simply click this top orange button over here. You can download now. You can donate to the developers because that's how they get paid. If you choose to, that's cool by by me. It's cool by them as well. Uh, you click on download now. Now it's going to jump you to this window. Don't touch anything. It's going to automatically download into your downloads folder. Beautiful. In Chrome, if you're using Chrome, it downloads down here on the bottom left-hand corner. That's all you really need to know is it downloads into your download folder. Now I can minimize this window and I could um, open up my downloads folder, right? I can go to downloads. Downloads, it's going to be the last thing I downloaded. I could take that and I could drag it to my desktop because that's where I want it for right now. Then if I want to put it into uh, into a my, my Minecraft, <laughs> Um, all I have to do is um, recall it directly from a Minecraft directly, or I can do this great little shortcut. If you hit the Windows button and R, and you type in this string, uh, percentage sign, app data, percentage sign, backslash dot Minecraft, backslash, it takes you to the Minecraft folder. Uh, I'll put that right here, or down in the, the window down below, and um, I'll also put it, the text in the description below so you guys can just copy and paste this. If you're using a Mac, I'll put a link for that, how you do that here as well. Okay, so this is our uh, our window for Minecraft, right? So we're in uh, my window here, app data roaming dot Minecraft. It took me there automatically. We're inside our Minecraft folder. There's going to be two folders that will be called resource. One's resources and one is resource packs. I want to open up resource packs. I can take Invictus and I can drop it right into my resource packs folder. 
and that's it. It's going to be a .zip file. It's not going to be a, anything else. It's going to be the name .zip. You don't need to open it. You don't need to unpackage it. You don't need to unzip it. Just leave it alone. Throw it in the folder. Minecraft will do the rest. Okay, so we're going to go escape. We're going to go to options, and we're going to go to resource packs. Now we have a few more resource packs. We're going to take this one. We're going to put it back, and we're going to throw Invictus on. The default, you can never delete the default texture pack because if there are textures that somebody didn't make, it will automatically fall back to the default one. So we'll go ahead and put Invictus in and say done. This simple, guys. It's really simple. I love it. I love how simple this is. Oh, whoa, whoa, done. Back to back to game. And uh, this one looks pretty cool too. You know, you know, this one looks a lot like one from uh, from Xbox as well. And just it's been recommended to me before. So if you're in 1.11.2, this is not a bad one to have as well if you guys did like this video if you guys could smash that like button down below it's greatly appreciated and if you're at all new to our channel if you guys can click that subscribe button it helps the channel out a great deal and while you're at it if you click the little bell that little tiny bell it turns on notifications and it'll let you dudes and dudes know when we upload our daily videos and until next time guys see ya